Okay, so it's Saturday morning, and guess what I am making by myself? I am making pancakes. And I have a little, well, I have a little watcher, not a helper. I'm the chef in this kitchen right now. Okay, I'm gonna start making pancakes. Pancakes! And my little helper is helping me. Actually, the little watcher. And if you're wondering, hey, why is Olivia using this spinner thing? Don't worry, Mom taught me. Olivia, you this one. Oh, is that too well? Lady! Right? Let's plug out. Get the plug out, Olivia. And the final thing. I make pancake mix. And you need this. Yeah. Hey, Mom, how much vegetable oil should I put in the pancake mix? Five. Mommy, do I put vegetable oil in pancake mix? How much? It says on the package. It does? Where? Okay. Okay, three tablespoons. Let's see. Three, wait, three. So, so much. If it's asking for three, should I put six tablespoons? Oh, sure. Ta-da! And she got vegetable mix. Finally, got the syrup out. And vegetable mix. And I got this space jammies from Walmart. No sugar needed. I finally figured it out. Okay. Yes. Let's put that away please. Did you already put it in? Sure. Yeah. We'll put it away. I'm going to put these away and then we're going to make pancakes. Let me make mine. I'm getting the chocolate chips. Come on. Can you go get that grill open? Daddy, can you come get the griller out for the pancakes or the cooking pancakes thing? Yeah, can you come get the griller? Go to the go to the dad, go open the cold storage room. And to get the pancake fryer or something. <laughs> One, two, and three. And then in between is four and five, okay? That's okay. like the perfect amount. And you put it like this. And you use that. Kind of just pat it just a little bit. Yep. In the bed bump, it's okay. Yes, I got this syrup. Did you do one of the pancakes that like brush that? I found this. One of those like things that you just pour it up with some sugar, powdered sugar, with syrup, and with butter. And it's gonna taste amazing. Plus chocolate chip pancakes that I made and that I have been cooking. With Dad's help a little bit. Dad can have three double stacks, two double stacks. A six double stack. Then when I'm a dad, I'm gonna have a 100 double stack. Okay, so Olivia put butter on it, pass it down if you don't want it, then put it in the middle. Okay, so is that sugar? So this is how you do it, this is called powdered sugar. I it's put on good. the butter, now you're gonna put on some syrup like this. A little bit of syrup. Yeah, okay. a little bit. I'm gonna then you're gonna take, take this, then it. boys, you're gonna take this and <laughs> it. Oh man, all over your face. Just not the entire thing. And then you stick the rat on your face. That's probably a bad good color. I think those are the longest lasting flowers I've ever had in my life. Thank you, Allie and Thailand, for sending those to us on launch day. That was a while ago. <laughs> wow. So, um, hmm. I'm gonna share. I'm not sure what's happening right now. He, my new shoes hey, had that in them. By the way, they're super cute. And, and they're leather. They're like, anyways, he found those and I think he's trying to make like a like, football player kind of thing. Okay, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty about this entire house and methamphetamine thing. If you guys haven't seen the video, I will link it in the description. Also, if you guys want to comment about it and you have commented, thank you already because we've gotten a lot of comments about it on my channel, Today's Task. I will link that in the description as well. Um, some of the questions were really pertinent and perfect. A lot of them were like, hey, are you worried about the safety of you and the kids in that home because it's a meth house? A lot of them were like, hey, did the seller disclose that before you bought the home? 
because legally they kind of have to. And then some of them were also questioning like, hey, do you have to bulldoze that whole thing? What, what is the extent of demolition that you have to do to clear that up? I'm gonna answer those questions right now. First and foremost, when you buy a home, the seller legally has to disclose everything on that house unless, one clause, if it's sold as is and you are buying it strictly as is, which I was on that house because of it being the situation that it was um, and the kind of a good price that it was, that's how it has to go and I knew that there was a possibility of that so I bought it knowing that. Um, that was a risk, that's a gamble. I think it's still gonna be okay. Second of all, do you have to bulldoze the entire house? I hired a third party environmental agency to come in and they were state certified. They did a test for a premium cost and checked everything. My house came in at a 0.43 parts per million methamphetamine test. What does that even mean that I have 0.43 parts per million? In the state of Utah, a house that tests positive with methamphetamine can have up to 1.00 parts per million of methamphetamine in the house and be safe for you, for infants, for anything. That's not enough to do any damage or harm. The house I purchased did test positive. It came in below that number. So technically I don't have to do anything to the house, but I know where the heaviest sources of it are, most likely in the HVAC system. We're going to be changing a lot of that. We're gonna be moving things around a lot of that and a lot of the old system is gonna be going out the way. So I'm not really concerned about it. Also any sheetrock. Most of the sheetrock in that house is going to be coming down, so I'm not really concerned about that. The oven and kitchen area, that's all coming out, so I'm not worried about that. So to answer those questions, is it safe for the kids to go in there? Right now, it's not unsafe, but I am gonna be precautionary, and I am going to take care of some of that stuff beforehand. Second, is it, um, do I have to demolition everything? No, I don't have to do anything right now, but I am gonna be doing so many renovations that we're good anyway. Third, did the seller jip me in some way and not disclose that. No, I think that they knew it would probably test positive. I think they knew the extent of it, um, but they sold it as is and I was willing to buy it as is. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I do, however, recommend if you are buying a house that is not as is and you have a feeling, go do the test. They're $30, what does it matter? If it tests positive, you can either walk away from the cell way beforehand, or if it tests negative, you know you're in the clear. It's just fine. The glamorous gift of giving your wife a house for Valentine's Day kind of goes to pop when you realize it's a meth house and she hates it. But we're gonna be good. We're gonna be good. We're gonna just trudge through. We're gonna make it. We'll be just fine. I promise we'll be fine. Anyway, if you guys liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell, hit that so you don't miss out on any of our adventures with this new house. If you guys have not checked out today's task, I will leave a link for that as well. Make sure you're checking it out. Make sure you guys are following. If you want to comment on Bonnie's videos or my videos, go there. I'll show her the comments. I'll read them to her. She loves them as well. weather out here is so weird. It's warm compared to what we've had. It's not warm compared to Palm Springs, and but it's cold when you're standing next to the snow or when the breeze comes on. So it's kind of weird. The yard's a disaster. I'm glad Joel is like working on it. Anyway, so I'm taking advantage of wearing my sandals with a sweater <laughs> because I wanted to wear this cute um, outfit. I haven't been able to wear it myself because I've had to like hold on to my medium size for some of the models to wear. Anyway, um, this is one of our Bali lounge sets. This is one of our cardigans. Um, we don't have tons of these left. Uh, we definitely want to make something similar in this material because everyone has loved it. I love it. Anyway, we're going to close the vlog here. There are plenty of links with info down in the description for you guys to check out. You want to come back here? No, I was wondering. If I could go ask them if I can go use their ball pumper. Who? Oh, um, you can ask them if they have one. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay, have a good day, you guys.